Hello everyone, here we want to introduce you the Petty Cash Management Excel file that helps you to manage your Petty Cash box. In every organization, there are people in the units, in the other department, other than the accounting department, that needs to spend some money on the minor uh, cost and minor payments. There are some cash that didn't be needed there. So uh, we call that those cash the petty cash and the person who is responsible for that petty cash box need to gather the information of their costs and payments and make a report every month or every every time that its petty cash box is blown than the anticipated uh, per, uh, percent of the cash he, ha he or she has she or he need to uh, send the report and ask the accountant person to give some uh, cash again and replenishment uh, the petty cash box so this excel files help you to uh, in the structure manner organize your payments and send the report to the accountant department so if you uh, if you open this excel file for the first time you may see the yellow ribbon here that asks you to enable the content of the macros since this excel file is developed based on the vba macros if you want to use that properly please enable the content of this excel file by clicking on the enable content button here after that you are free to use this excel file so uh, at first there are some data here I want to clear the data so if you want to make the Excel empty and use it for the uh, for, from the scratch you need to come here in these tables and delete the previous data on it at first I will give you the empty Excel file for you to be able to start right away but uh, if you uh, so if you're using this Excel file for the first time, uh, please make a copy from the empty Excel file, make a copy from the whole file, and then use the copy as Excel file for having the empty file every time you need to uh, use this Excel file from the scratch again. So uh, when you open this Excel file with the empty data, you will see some NA here because of the functions that uh, actually saying that there is no data right now so for first line please establish the pay, uh, petty cash box so if you uh, want to say that you can you are able to have multiple petty cash box for example in the some department there will be need some uh, uh, multiple petty cash box so you can have the multiple petty cash box with the multiple person who are responsible uh, for that box so uh, for uh, so please establish at first the petty cash you have to say what is the title of your petty cash for example this is the petty cash for a purchase unit and uh, I can say purchase department use a simple and short title for your box and then the ID is something that you can have it for saying short name of your petty cash when you are uh, assigning the when you are uh, assigning the title of the petty cash please remember you need to ha assign the unique names for your boxes and because all the data are uh, all the reports and the data will be calculated and uh, entered based on this title you need to have the you have the unique title here so if you have the multiple petty cash box please remember that the person in charge for example you can say I'm in and uh, you can you have to set the establishment date of this uh, for example box I can say for example the fifth of the 15th day of the first month of the year 2019 and for example we have 1000 uh, US dollar in the box I want to have alarm uh, whenever my petty cash box decreases into the 10% of the 
maximum amount. For example, if I set the 10% here, I inserted number 10. Whenever my cash amount becomes under the maximum amount of uh, 100 USD, then the, uh, then the file will show me the alarm that you are the blow on the, under the uh, under the zone that you need to republishment your petty cash box. So when you insert the data, submit the data. Right now your petty cash box is set, and you can come here and choose your uh, petty cash. When you choose your petty cash, you will see the data will be shown here, and the person who is responsible for this box so uh right now there is no uh cash in your box you need to uh, set the first repol repolishment here so press this button after that you can say what is the receipt of your cash you have received from the accounting department for example i can say one two three four and the amount is one thousand which is the initial cash amount and the day can be year 2019, first month, and the day 50 that when I open this uh, petty cash box. So after that, I can save the data, and now I can see the available cash is $1,000, for example, whatever unit, whatever currency you are using in your country, it's, uh, for example, it's 1,000 USD. So, uh, after that you can have the voucher for the payment that you have for example uh, the cost number is the number of the payments you are paying by this petty cash right now and this uh, number will be increased automatically and you do not need to change the data but if you for example want to set the data manually by your hand you are able to do that for example setting it to the four but uh, when whenever you choose the petty cash regain yeah uh, sorry whenever you submit the data the data uh, cost number will be uh, calculated automatically again so i will change that to the first watcher i wanted to uh, set and the invoice number which is the invoice of the payment i had for example three to one and the category is the category of the cost. For example, why I spend this money? Is it for the transportation, buying the consumable uh, products, or it's for the technical service, or so on? You can change these categories based on your needs. What, how you can do that? You can come to the basic data information tab here and change the category uh, here. For example, uh, I want to change that to the consumer products and also I want to add something for example 8AA and uh, in the petty cash uh, management tab I will see the change category so this is up on you you can change this category based on your needs so for example in 2019 uh, day for example 20 i want to spend my first payment by uh, from my petty cash box after i this uh, specify the date i can write uh, the name of the product or services i bought for example this is a transportation i for example i want to say that uh, sending box to management department and the quantity is the i just send one box and the unit price is for example ten dollar and then uh, the total price will calculate it based on the multiplying the unit price into the quantity the note is the thing that i can write for this payment for example based on manager uh, needs of some boxes for example i send that to um, these boxes to the manager and after i complete the watcher i can set the submit after i submit the data you can see the cost number is changed to the two 
As I told you, we can have the multiple petty cash box. For doing so, we need to establish another box. For example, the purchase. For example, minor purchase can be my other petty cash box for the purchase department and uh, it's a p2 for example the id the person is charged for example is rash and the date of the establishment is 2019 month to the first day and the maximum amount for example because i want to buy some products i can say for example ten thousand dollar and the arm can be 20 percent whenever i reach to the 200 a dollar i want the excel file uh, allow me to ask the accountant uh, uh, to republish my petty cash box so after i submit the data i can see here i will have two other uh, i will have another petty cash box that i can select that and this one right now is maximum allowed cash is ten thousand dollar but i do not have any dollars so i need to republish make that for example in 2019 month two first day i the accountant unit send me my money and uh, here for example first cash i can say so after that right now i will have a ten thousand dollar available cash so uh i can uh, come and produce some vouchers here for example in the invoice one two three i bought some consumer products and for example if this is the more uh, we can use wrap tax to show the text properly here and uh, in the for example i want to write the description what i bought in the and uh, uh, right now i bought some um, for example pc for management department because this is a management department they ask me to force major uh, buying some pc for them for example they ask five pc and each of them cost one thousand dollar and so in total i have five thousand dollar and we can say see your ask to buy pc as soon as possible so i didn't have any time for, for asking the inventory if we have the pc and asking to um, order to purchase uh, in the regular way so i bought them from my petty cash in the purchase unit so uh, right now i want to submit the data if you can see there is no date here if you submit the data it asks you please enter the date so whenever you do not have the date you can, you, are, you will not be able to enter the data so you need to uh, specify the date for example 2019 month 2 and day 2 20 about these pieces and i want to submit the data after the submission we can see the cost number change it to the two automatically and uh, right now for example i want to buy another thing if you can see my available cash is five thousand and the total payments by this uh, petty cash box is five thousand right so uh, for example for another buy i will uh, add the invoice number i wanna buy some equipments and uh, for example i wanna buy some uh, cell phone for some employees and the manager asked me to buy that as soon as possible so i use for example three cell phone and each of them cost one thousand and two hundred dollars so uh i have to say manager or i can say ceo ask to buy these from petty cash box 
So whatever the CEO says, we will do that. Now I want to submit the data. If you submit the data, you will see you are in the cache alarm zone. It means that uh, the Excel is saying that your cache will be under the 20% of the uh, available uh, maximum allowed cache. So um, by this, you can have the alarm. If you set the OK, and you can see the available cache uh, will turn to the yellow notation that's saying that your cache is below under the, the maximum allowed. And uh, right now, you need to have the replacement. By default, uh, when you want to have the replacement from the accountant uh, department, you need to send the report and attach the invoices uh, for what you bought, attach those invoices into that report and send it to the accountant accountant department. So for example, before uh, doing that, for example, if you right now want to buy something and we can say the invoice number three falls, the cash box and for example, you have the invoice 444 and you want to buy, for example, some equipments again and you want to, for example, buy a laptop for CEO, your personal CEO, and the laptop is cost, for example, $1,500 and just one, and the laptop for CEO, for example, and the date is uh, first of the month three. 2019 and now if you submit the data it said that your cost is more than your current cash uh, so you will not have the enough cash in your box to pay that uh, laptop uh, so for example if you have some money or you want to spend some money by your own and then get give back from the accountant department you can press the yes button to submit the data but if you do not have those uh, monies you have to press no and you need to ask first the accountant department to republish your petty cash box and then buy this laptop for your ceo but if you for example go and buy another uh, laptop another version of the, that laptop that costs you for example $900 now you can submit the data and it's just say you are in the alarm zone and now you will have just $500 in the middle of your uh, voucher for example if you want to edit some uh, of your vouchers you can come here, for example, the previous one, the invoice number 444 and the cost number 3. Now you want to uh, retrieve this data for uh, changing the some information. For example, instead of $900, you can say $950 and then uh, you can modify so the data will be updated or if you do not remember the cost number you can make it empty and then use for example invoice number and uh, for example uh, what was the description laptop for CEO for example you remember the description from your invoice you can say laptop for CEO and you remember the invoice number but you do not remember the cost number now you can retrieve the data again and uh, update the data for example you want to 950.5 dollar and now you can modify the data so uh, this is how you can modify retrieve and also you can remove the data you can remove the watcher from your payment now after uh, you have your watchers now you want to have the replenishment so first you need to send the report to your uh, 
uh, to your accounting department so so you need to generate the report if you press the generate reports it will ask you what is the date of your report for example i want to say 2019 month 3 and day 2 day 3 for example and this uh, report will be generated for minor purchase petty cash box so if you press save button after that the petty cash uh, report will be generated it asks you where you want to save the pdf file of this report for example in my desktop I select the desktop and then press OK and then it ask you ask you what is your name of your report by default it's uh, write the date and the cost report in this field you can change this field <coughs> by yourself and then press OK button and uh, the PDF file will be generated so uh, first you can see the report in this petty cash report tab and you can see this tab this is a table that you need to send to your uh, uh, accountant department you can change all the data here except you cannot add the uh, column to this table but you can for example add the logo by going to the header going to design and uh, choose the picture uh, for example work offline from my file desktop into the diaco into the diaco logo i can insert the logo here and if you can see the logo is huge i can change it from format picture for example i want to say 1.5 cm and press ok you can see the logo is fine i want to add my company name and the petty cash report for example you can change the footer as well as you wish and also you can change the text here for example dear account unit i want to change it just the accountant units and you can change the titles here as well but you cannot change these data because these data will be read it by using the function and this this date will be here as the vba you can change the format of the date but you cannot change the cell uh date so for this date you can change it for example for to this format but you cannot change the position of the cell also you can change the titles here but you cannot add the row to this column do not uh, add any row or do not delete any row but you can for example make it a little bit bigger and um, for example i want to make this a little bit less and this one as well so uh, you can change the size of the column or the size of the row but uh, you cannot add or delete any row or uh, columns so uh, this is how you can manage your reports and also if you want to see the PDF file as you remember we saved that PDF into our, my desktop is here in the 2019 cost report so you can see the report PDF file and send this PDF file by attaching the invoices of your payment into the accountant unit or department so uh, this is how you can so this is how you can have the report for your petty cash box you just need to choose the box first which box you want to have the reports and then generate the report for that petty cash box and also if you notice when i generate the pdf uh, file when i generate the report we can see no reported payments are now currently zero for example if i add another for example i uh, the accountant department give me some money after that report for example in month three day for example 25 for example the note and now the petty cash available uh, cash is ten thousand dollar i want to generate an invoice for example in 
If I submit this data, you can see not reported payments will be increased and you can see how much in total you spend from this petty cash box, for, uh, how much you receive from this petty cash box, how much you spend in total from this petty cash box and how much you spend without sending any reports and what is the latest report date that you send the report. So this Excel file help you easily manage your petty cash box, send the report, generate the report and have the track of the your inventory cash, your box cash actually. And I wish uh, you this Excel file helped you a lot and goodbye. In order to watch more training videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Diaco OTD. And if you want to see our products, please visit our website diaco.co.uk.